if you're looking into IVF, then I would encourage you to do a lot of research and word of mouth is great, but you can also know that the CDC has a database with success rates for clinics in the United States. So once you determine where you might want to go, talk to a few different clinics, talk to the doctors, and then just get a feel for them. Find out if there's a high turnover rate because that's not a good sign. Ask them different questions to make sure it's an ethical clinic or two, and then don't disregard your gut instinct, like go with your gut and realize that it's not just about the doctor you see. A lot of things happen behind the scenes, like the lab and how they're handling your embryos. And then you think about the cost. Sometimes you have a clinic and they may say $6,000 for IVF. That's pretty inexpensive for IVF. It's usually at least about $10,000, $12,000 in the United States. So it may not be an area where you want to say, I'm going to go to this clinic just because it's inexpensive. I don't, I don't know that I would say that. Just because it's inexpensive? Yeah, I think you got to be very careful because there are clinics that maybe are charging more because they know they can. And I don't, I don't, you know, what I've learned, if I've learned in medicine, you don't always get what you pay for. That's very true. And I think you also have to look at, if you, if you look at clinics that are reputable, have a great reputation, obviously I think you go with that. But I think sometimes success rate doesn't work because for whatever reason, it just doesn't happen, which is completely understandable. But other times, if it is the fault of the facility where I have a problem is the couples have still maybe mortgage their futures and it's still like oops didn't work out i would like to see some element of how do you rectify this I, you're, you're taking someone's dream and you're taking their money and I, you're I still mean, going to cash the check and you're like oops sorry there is recourse here but having to go through a lawsuit is 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 not ideal i guess my thing with the cost you're right it's going to be expensive whether, you know, $6,000 yeah. is still a lot of money. But I guess my point is, don't base it just on money. No, Be don't ba absolutely That's not. what I'm saying. If you base can find, it on base it on reputation. Rates. Yes, but just like you said, on the other end of the spectrum, just because someone charges you $12,000 or $15,000 instead of six, that doesn't make them better. And base it on the reputation. that's true with everything in life. Some couples are extremely wealthy and that part is inconsequential. To me, it's hard because it's out of reach for a lot of couples and that would like there. to, and, and that is, I would just love to see a little bit more of an ability for, for these couples to have an opportunity and Absolutely. not have it just be, you know, if it takes multiple, multiple cycles that for some people they only have enough to try once, it doesn't so work. On the percentages, it's almost giving them false hope. And this is really hard to talk about, but in any business, if, if, if you do something and you fail, and you fail, but then you make more money by failing, and there's a lot of businesses like this, and, it, and in medicine it may be that way, where you know if you do a procedure, it fails, and you gotta do another procedure, it fails, and you do another procedure, and it fails, and another one, and it fails, and for each procedure, you're getting paid more and more money. On a business side, you're winning. I agree with you, Travis. I hope that we reach a point where you know, the pricing comes down and this is an available option for the masses. And we'll certainly have more resources on our website and a checklist of all the questions that you need to ask your fertility clinic and lab as well, because that's a big part of this. We're gonna have that on our website, thedoctorstv.com.